G'day, welcome back to Talking Photography. Today we're going to learn how to do cross polarization, which is a really fun and creative technique you can do with just a couple of objects found around your home. One of those things is a computer screen, so I'm going to use this screen next to me today. The other thing is some plastic, so I've just got some random assorted plastic objects like this jug here. And the last thing you need is a polarizing filter, which is a fairly common filter. You likely have one already. They're often used for landscape photography. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is just screw this polarizing filter onto my camera lens. So that'll be ready to go. You can use any mode when you're shooting this kind of photography. I'll be shooting manual mode today because I'm fairly confident with manual exposure, but automatic would work fine, as would aperture priority, shutter priority, or any other mode that your camera might have. Now that we've got our polarizing filter attached, the next thing we need to do is just set up a blank white document in Photoshop. All right, so I'm just gonna go into Photoshop and create a new document, just a blank white document with the same pixel dimensions as what I have on my screen here, nothing fancy. Now, once I've done that, I'm just gonna press F a couple of times to jump into full screen mode. And then I just wanna zoom in until I'm completely taking up the screen with that white document. And there's our polarized light source, easy as that. Well, now that we've got our screen set up, we're ready to shoot. So I just need to grab one of these plastic objects and I'm just gonna put it on some books so that it's a little bit higher and the screen's directly behind it and take this off. Now, as soon as you look through the viewfinder, you'll be able to see the effect taking place. But what you wanna do is spin the polarizer around and the screen will go from white to black. Both look good, so just choose whichever one you prefer. So now that we've taken our photo, there's just one more thing I wanna do, and that's tidy this up a bit. So I'm just gonna use the crop tool and crop in a little bit here. I like to just focus on the shapes within the object doing this sort of photography, more of a minimalist approach. And I think a crop of somewhere around about here is looking pretty good. The other thing I wanna do is just set my black point. So I'm gonna pull up a levels layer, grab the black eyedropper tool and click somewhere on the black background. And that'll just make that background completely black and they'll have a nice finished image. All right, well that's it. Pretty amazing how effective these images are with such a simple, easy technique with pretty much just stuff we found around the house. Now, one more tip I have for you is to turn the room lights off when you're doing this kind of shooting. Because we're shooting reflective objects, we will get reflections from the room if we have the room lights on. So just use the screen as your only light source. But we'll leave it there for today and we'll jump into some other sort of technique soon. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you don't mind liking and subscribing, that'd be great. I've heard it helps with everything and I could use all the help I could get at the moment. But we'll leave it there for now and I'll see you next time. Catch you later.